Hi, I'm Russell Wingle. You know I love my cars, but I also love my boats. Been out of the market for a little while and I thought I'd have a bit of a look around, see what I could find new, and I was a bit staggered on how much new boats are now. So I thought, let's try and find a second hand one. So I had a poke around on the net and found this used Riviera M400. Now she was in a pretty bad state. So I thought, let's do it up. Like renovating a car, I wanted to renovate a boat. So with the help of my mates from Mercury Marine, I want to take you on a bit of a journey on how I did it and how I made this spectacular boat come true. Now the reason I picked the Riviera M400, it's a 2007 model, I've got a bit of a soft spot for it because I used to actually have one of the first Riviera M400s in 2005 when it rolled off the line and I really rated it. I reckon it was ahead of its time in design, especially the interior. It was a stern drive boat which is great for Queensland and great around the broad border. It gets a little bit shallow around those places so I really liked it. So when this came up and I saw it, look, it needs a bit of work make no mistake about it for me but for this project it was absolutely ideal high hours on the legs and the engines and as you can see uh, there's plenty going on here um, she's been sitting in the Sydney Harbour for uh, a reasonable amount of time and uh, plenty of uh, barnacles and marine growth but like I said before this is exactly is exactly the base that I wanted so um, we're going to be removing the engines the legs uh, we're going to be painting it it's got a few dents and scratches and holes in her as well so we're going to be going through the whole process and I want to take you inside and show you exactly what we're going to be doing because the coolest part is what we're going to be repowering this boat with and it is the latest and greatest it'll be fantastic so the biggest part of this project was obviously the repower. So what was I looking for? Well, the first thing is reliability. Every time I jump on this boat, I want to make sure when I turn those keys, the thing starts. I'm out on the water with my family. I want to make sure it doesn't break down. I don't have any issues. Anything that spoils a good day out is when these things break down or don't go. Biggest hassle with boating. So I wanted that out of the equation. That was one. The next thing was economy. Like, who wants to spend money on diesel or fuel when you don't have to? And it's not cheap at some of these bowsers either, so if I can get a boat that's economical, that's not costing me thousands every time I fire it up and go out on the water, happy days. So the next thing is performance. Well, you know I'm all about performance. On a racetrack, that's what it's about. I want it in this boat as well. So I had to take a good look at that as well because some diesels, yeah, they're okay, but I wanted something that was better than okay. Okay, and this was it. Like I've got a 35 knot boat here. Something that will cruise on 30 knots. Like how good's that? And something that's economical as well. I've got the best of both worlds. So that ticked that box as well. So all in all, this has been a great package and I'm gonna show you how I did it because it's pretty cool. Well, welcome aboard this 40 foot Riviera. It's a very beamy boat. Again, this is why I selected this boat. I just love the size of it. And the good thing about it, it's got a huge engine bay as well. Now, let's get right down into the deep of it. Right, these are 496 Mag Mercury's of petrol engines. Very popular in this boat, and in fact, very popular a lot of stern drive boats that were made around this era. Um, they've done a fantastic job. This one itself has done 1,500 hours, so very high hours. Still original engines, original legs, so... The Mercury product, as usual, has been absolutely rock solid. But times have changed since 2007 when this boat first rolled off the production line. Since then, technology has come about, engines have become lighter, more torque, lower capacity turbocharged engines. So I've had a very in depth discussions with Mercury Marine, and between the two of us, we've decided that together we're going to be fitting two of the new TDI 370 horsepower diesel Mercruiser stern drive engines and they are absolutely fantastic. They're light, they're small capacity, but high horsepower, well, main thing is high torque as well. It's something like 750 Newton meters of torque, which is incredible when you're considering somewhere around this is around 450 Newton meters of torque. So it's gonna be a dramatic change. Um, they're lighter than even these 496 Mercruiser petrol engines. Um, like I said before, we're changing to diesel. It's going to be a fair change. It's not going to be the easiest of installations going from petrol to diesel, but 
we're up for the challenge and, uh, and definitely the Mercruiser guys are as well. Okay, there's enough talking about it. Let's get it off of this dock and out on the water and let me show you what it can do. Well, I must admit when the guys um, at Mercury Marine taught me into putting the joystick piling on, I was, uh, I was a little bit skeptical because I've, I've owned a few boats and I thought, ah, look, I can steer the thing all right. I reckon I'm pretty capable. Um, but as anyone that's been boating with a stern drive before, should know they're a lot trickier than a shaft drive boat and um, and I'm glad they talked me into it now because as we can see here just totally walk, walking the boat sideways no bow thruster whatsoever and it's just so easy to use it's almost like you're on a video game and uh, and to be quite honest I reckon for anyone that's gets a little bit spooked about boating and going into marinas or even docking at home and uh, I think that's the single biggest argument between husbands and wives is docking a boat or anything that's reasonable size. And I can tell you what, this joystick will take those arguments out of it because it just makes um, Joe average looks like he's been boating for the last 30 years. So, uh, uh, and that's what I like about it, it's just so easy. Um, uh, very precise too. And, and the biggest thing is in a windy situation. So when the wind's blown up, and you're trying to back it into a marina, um, it just takes all the effort out of it. Um, it sort of almost predicts um, where you want to go with the thing. And, uh, and the other part about it as well is the skyhook feature as well, where through GPS location, it keeps it in the central spot. And what I find that very, very good for is when you have pulled up to a marina or you're thinking about anchoring up, you can keep the boat out, you can put the fenders out, get your ropes ready, especially for tying up to another boat, that sort of thing. And it keeps it within a very tight range. Uh, it's actually very surprising on, on uh, like even a marina here, as we're in today, um, I can put the sky hook on now, it'll locate the boat, keep it there, I'll get the fenders out, ropes out, all back in again if I've just taken off. Uh, and it just makes the job so much easier. So um, uh, it's, um, it doesn't actually take that much to get used to it. Uh, the boys at Mercury Marine took me through for a couple of hours and sort of by the time I got the boat home, I was Eddie the expert. So, um, I, I really rate it. I, I'm, honestly, for a stern drive boat especially, um, I would not not have it. You know, I, I think it's just an essential bit of equipment and um, like I said, it just takes the hassle out of boating and that's what boating should be about, no hassles. As I said before, an important thing was the economy side with this repower. And that's where this Mercury Marine TDI really stood out. We're looking at a fuel burn of, say, a cruising speed of 24 knots, which is pretty well what I do, and I think what most boaties would like to do in a boat this size. And at that, we're looking at just a tad under 100 litres an hour in total for both engines. Now, at wide open throttle, pinned right down, 35 knots, so, good speed again for a, a 40 foot boat it's just over 150 litres an hour yes right 150 litres an hour in total for two 370 horsepower and nearly 800 newton metres of torque engine so absolutely incredible stats and uh, I challenge anyone that would come up with those sort of figures for this size boat okay one of the things I really like about this and you know I'm about the performance side of it is a pickup Listen to those turbos wind up, off she goes, look at that. You can hardly feel it get on the plane, it gets up so easy. Just incredible, incredible torque from these TDI Mercury diesels, fantastic. 
Well, I certainly hope that's given you an insight into this project. It's definitely been an interesting one, and I couldn't be more happy with the outcome, especially with the Mercury diesels. It's everything I want in a boat at half the price. Um, so if you're thinking about doing it, don't hesitate, do it. It's a fantastic result. So I hope to see you out on the water. I'll definitely be using this big girl a lot more often, and uh, if I don't see you on the water, I'll probably see you at a racetrack. Cheers, guys.